special presentation. With tonight's victory, the New York Red Bulls have secured the best record in Major League Soccer. franchise, for the players, for the staff, for the supporters especially. It's been a long time. It's been a long time coming and these guys earned it. You know, uh, it doesn't matter what's written, it doesn't matter uh, how we played in certain moments, these guys gave me everything they had this year um, to end the season. And uh, it's, I'm, not, I'm at a loss of words. It's, uh, as a professional, aside from my family life and uh, personal life, as in my, talking about my career as a player and a coach, this is by far, to now, the best moment. Because of what it, what it means to this organization, these supporters, and, and, and us. Like I said out there, 12 midnight strikes tonight. It, it's, a, it's, a, it's a wonderful memory from 12 midnight tonight because we still have five games left. And we're going to be refocused and um, you know, we're going to be ready for the playoffs. Mike, congratulations. Uh, it's a hell of a rookie year. Um, talk a little bit once again. You know, we all know that you, uh, you bleed uh, Red Bull. Um, you know, to, to have all these years of, of playing and now to finally have the supporter shield, uh, you know, is it starting to settle in here a little bit as you're doing the press conference? And then, you know, you have a few games ahead of you. Team's healthy. Any preparations? Any changes? Anything like that that we can expect? Um, I'm going to meet with the staff afterwards. Find out um, medically how everybody is, um, and then take it from there. We, we enjoyed a, a healthy lineup, um, a, a healthy, almost entirely healthy team this week leading up to it, with the exception of Roy Miller and Ian Christensen. So it's it's a tough decisions, but you know you'd rather have tough decisions than only have 11 guys I could count on. So it's going to be a good week of practice, intense, and no, it hasn't sunk in completely yet. I was, you know, I think perhaps why it's so strange to me and uh, it hasn't sunk in yet is because as soon as the whistle blew, there was, of course, happiness, but we have five games left. But at the end of the day, you sit back and say, in 16, 17 years, this club has nothing to show for as far as hardware goes. Um, you know, it was tough for me to grab that and raise it over my head because we have five games left. But looking around, our captain Thierry, you know, him jumping around in a moment, and guys understanding it's, it's the moment. You know, this is not going to carry on for three, four, five days. It's something that we, it's, we're a part of, these players are a part of history now in this club. And um, history is a good thing to look back on after the playoffs are over and you're sitting back having a glass of wine in the offseason, then you look back on it. Um, but after tonight, um, it's 